Hello, hello. Today we're going to discuss aspiration. Aspiration is an English feature. Uh, aspiration does not occur in Spanish. Aspiration is an extra puff of air. For example, when English speakers speak and they say pencil, pencil, a Spanish speaker would probably say pencil, pencil. So notice the P sound, the very first sound. Pencil, pencil, pencil. Notice that the P has extra here. That is what we call aspiration. But aspiration does not occur with every single sound or just anywhere in the word, in the syllable. It follows certain phonological rules. Let's look at the three phonological rules uh, in which aspiration occurs. The first rule says that aspiration occurs only with the following sounds. P, T, and K. We usually say petaca in Spanish so that we remember the sound. Petaca, P, T, K, like this. And aspiration is represented with a small H next to the letter, to the right side, right upper side of the sound. H, T, and K. That's how it, it is represented phonetically. It's a phonetic feature. You would never see this in a dictionary, for example, because it's a phonetic feature, not a phonemic feature. Notice that phonemic transcriptions have plant bars. They are the ones from the dictionary. And phonetic transcriptions have uh, square brackets. Those are the ones from phonetic. The second rule says that aspiration occurs only in syllable initial position. Never in the middle, never at the end. So notice that it's a syllable and not Word. Look at the Spanish word, mapa, for example. The P is in syllable initial position, ma, pa. Notice that the second syllable, pa. In the second syllable, the P is at the beginning of the syllable. It's in syllable initial position. In compañía, we have compañía. So the second syllable, Pa, the P is at the beginning of the syllable, not of the word of the syllable. In patrulla, we have the P at the beginning of the syllable and at the beginning of the word as well. So patrulla, pa is the, the, the P is at the beginning of the first syllable. Okay, so aspiration occurs in syllable initial position. For example, the word control, control, the T is at the beginning of the second syllable. Control, control. And rule number three says that aspiration occurs only in stress syllable. That means uh, that if the syllable is not stressed, even when the sounds are P, T, or K, and the sounds are in syllable initial position, still aspiration will not occur because the syllable is not stressed. So aspiration occurs only in stressed syllables. Example, computer, for example. Come Q, notice that it is a P, it's at the beginning of the syllable and it's stressed. So, computer, the aspiration. Kevin, Kevin. So, the K is at the beginning of the syllable, it's a K and it's stressed. So, Kevin, Kevin. 
So the K is accurate. And encounter, encounter the second syllable, the K is accurate because it's a K, it's at the beginning of the syllable, and it's stress. Encounter. So aspiration can occur only if the three rules apply. If one of the rules is missing, then aspiration does not occur. So as you can see, it's super specific. What are you going to do to practice? Well, you need to do the practice exercise. The first one says, add aspiration if and only if necessary. So, look at the word eight. With the word eight, it has two syllables, A and then S, like this. The P is not at the beginning of the syllable because it's about sound, it's not about letter. So actually what we are discussing here is A, like this. A. The P is at the end of the syllable, this cannot be aspirated. Okay, remember it's about sound. Then we have apple. So apple, the P is in the middle of the syllable. It cannot be aspirated. In number three, we have caper. Okay, the K is at the beginning of the syllable, it's a K, and it's stressed. It's stressed. There, it's stressed. So, caper means aspiration. Caper. The same way, copper. Uh, or copra. Notice that they are accurate because they meet the three rules, the three phonological rules. So you have all these words, and then the second, um, the second task is for you to read the word here, and then, then copy the word and add stress. What does it say? Add stress marks and accuracy. And then, and then write the English word here. And then, okay. This does not need aspiration because the K is a K, is at the beginning of the syllable, but it's not stress. So, no aspiration. The second one, on the other hand, tricking, tricking. The T is a T, it's at the beginning of the syllable, and it's stress. So, aspiration occurs, tricking. Like so, this is your task. You have many words, you copy the word in the phonetic transcription, and then into That's for you to practice. If you have questions, please let me know. That will be it then. Thank you.